Okay, this is a four card oracle you pick with Diet Across Finish. This is for you. So tune in. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Look, we can talk about world events, we can talk about the royals, we can talk about the politicians, but you know what's most important? You, you're most important. So let's talk about you. So this will be a four card oracle. Get yourself centered, go get yourself something to drink. Just devote this next 15 minutes or whatever it is to, to you. And let's see uh, what the cards have to say. You know what I'm gonna tell you, take a deep breath in, let it out slowly, center yourself, uh, find a comfortable exact way that you wanna sit down and get yourself a cup of tea or a, a glass of water or a Coca-Cola if you really want that. And uh, let's see what the cards can tell you about what's happening for you. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now she's a Georgian artist, Georgian out in the United States, Georgia, Europe. Uh, uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas. And uh, his story is interesting. And it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her. And uh, he's a fellow a couple years uh, younger than me, he lives in New York, uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner. And he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris about 2008, I think it was, where they uh, he she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years. I mean, since she was a child. And... Um, and so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished. And he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year. So she's probably got two years into the, all of these are full size, whatever full size is for her paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to, to um, spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like and um, and the only difficulty with cards like these this kind of surrealist art is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider weight system is going to be so they're beautiful cards and I love using them okay so this is going to be a four card oracle you pick with Dianet Cross Finish. So that'll be yes, no, maybe. Ask your questions. Decide what's important to you. And there'll be four cards you get to pick. And uh, I'll give you a yes, no for each of those cards. Or maybe. And then we'll do a full dyadic cross on each one. To go a little bit deeper. So. One, two, three, four card oracle. It's really dreary and rainy where I am card oracle for today you pick one two three or four get your questions set in your head send that information out into the ether we'll see if you get some answers in these cards today okay we're going to take four cards one two three four Okay, you'll get to pick one, two, three, or four. Okay, so remember this is a good time to uh, take a deep breath, let it out slowly. If you need to stop the video, uh, get a, uh, a drink, uh, decide uh, which card you want to pick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Okay, now we'll do the reveal. So, if you chose number one, that card, yes, no, or maybe, this is the Stranger of Tides. The Stranger of Tides is like the Knight of uh, Cups. All right, so this is the uh, fighter 
uh, of the royal suite here. And it's represented this card by almost a serpent uh, with a humanoid uh, face in here. Uh, but it looks to me like the serpent is the, is the, I don't know, that's a seaweed actually. That's not part of the serpent right there. So this is, this figure is just made up of, of just the ether of the passion of the ocean, but with a human face. I don't know. But that's the signifier. And that night of, of emotions is going to get its job done. That's a great big yes. I'm going to make a note of that so that I remember. And then if you chose number two, okay, we get the eight of gardens. So that's the eight of pentacles. And uh, the eight of pentacles is, a, is pentacles are worth. That's the earth, you know, the eight of gardens. This is strength. Uh, this is value. Uh, it could be money. Not usually. The eight of gardens is well over and organized. And uh, yeah, so this is a good solid uh, basis of uh, pentacles here. And that's a big yes card also. Now, if you chose number three, Okay, the Six of Winds. This is the Six of Swords. Um, gosh, I don't remember about what the Six of Swords uh, represents. Um, but in this card, anyway, it's rep this, these mountains here almost take on the figure of a troll or a huge giant just reaching out uh, to get something done. And uh, you, we can see these um, two birds here just swooping down uh, like swords. And uh, so this Six of Winds, Six of Swords, is a battle. And you know what? I'm going to take a minute to remind myself of some typical uh, meaning for the Six of Swords uh, right here. Yeah, it's always this is a celebratory and pride and travel. Yeah, so yeah, this is a great big victory of some sort. So that's a big yes card also. The number four card, if that's what you chose. Oh, the Magician. I mean, how could you ask for anything better? Everything uh, that's available uh, to get this job done, this is a big yes card, uh, is available to the Magician. And you can just, I don't know if I can just make out this Magician here. It looks like this is the uh, almost a female uh, crowned figure over here with this flowing uh, pinkish crown, beautiful uh, figure. And then a seahorse sitting across the table from this uh, magician. I really can't pick out the elements of the typical, typical magician in here. But um, just to say it's a beautiful card, that's another big yes card. So all yeses today. And now let's see what we get if we do just a little bit further. But this is a signifier on the first diet across. Okay, so we'll shuffle these up a bit. So this is a stranger tides. This is equivalent to the knight of cups. Nine of Cups. This is the you know the knight is the, the person in that uh, royal company that's uh, the warrior of that uh, little tribe. And once the king says, "Let's get this done," then this emotional issue, when given to this knight, is going to move forward in a dramatic way. Okay, so let's do a quick shuffle. Get five more cards for this number one. This is one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Put these over here and get right to it. So the challenge to that Knight of Cups, Stranger Tides, is going to be this Nine of Fire. Fire of Wands, um, action moving forward. And um, this fire is here is just um, um, unbeatable. Okay, this is so embattled. Um, but, you know, the, the show still goes on, and there's one more fight left in these two. This Nine of Fire is being very embattled, very challenged. Okay, so the signifier of this uh, Knight of Cups is challenged uh, by this one last fight, it looks like. The basis of this uh, reading of Fortune, so the Wheel of Fortune I always like to think is moving in a positive direction. And, indeed, in these cards, you really don't see the typical devil, uh, arc, typical devil that you would see on most Wheel of Fortune. But, uh, certainly, anytime you're not in the complete upright position, you're going to feel a little... Uh, a little ill or out of balance and there's an, an opportunity for that in a couple of segments of this wheel so yeah the basis of it is uh, really you know you're gonna say i've been lucky i've had a good run and uh if there's a little uncomfortable in this it just means something else is about to start and indeed in the past of this reading with the queen of fire okay so wands are action motion forward moving fire you know getting something done queen of fire the only other way up is the king so yeah this is being very passionately uh, uh in charge of the uh, actions or the um, the developments uh, that have been moving forward uh this knight of, of cups that comes by it honest in the sky of this reading we've got this king of guardians as well we go all the way to the top value uh king completely fully in charge this uh is indeed an elegant king on this card so yeah that's what we're going to shoot for. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing with this Five of Tides. Again, Tides are cups, emotions. And this Five of, of Cups is just flooded uh, with uh, emotion and passion in this card. It looks like a young woman uh, just wading through this beautiful pool. And um, 
you know, she's even looks like she's about to uh, have her baby carrying some bouquets. Really beautiful card. So the five of tides is what have I lost, but what have I got left? What have I still have to gain? And can I go on with what I've got? And of course you can. So yeah, the, this uh, yes card is just a well fought for uh, turn of luck, uh, strength behind it, uh, shoot for the stars. Um, you know, it's a new beginning kind of a yes. So yeah, that's good. Okay, so I think I'm going to turn these over this time and incorporate these back into the pack and see what happens when we do a full diet cross on the number two card, if that's the one you chose. Okay, signifier for that with this eight of gardens. Eight of gardens, eight of coins, lots of value. This is the earth, okay? And look at the uh, alchemy that's going on in this uh, picture here. This is really a hard coil, uh, the eight of gardens, solid value there. We need five more cards. This is one, two, three, four, and then finally we hear five. So that's all that. This will hold its place right there. We'll see what can possibly be the challenge for this eight of gardens, this really, you know, salt of the earth kind of thing that's going on here. And it's the Stranger of Gardens. So this is the Knight of Gardens. So this Eight of Gardens, is, as strong as it is, the Knight has now made it into, you know, an other level. Okay. So this is the guy that's going to fight for the value. So this Eight of Gardens challenge, you know, this could almost be like your personal wealth that you've built up so much is now in battle with the government that uh, you live under for maybe taxes or something like that. But is that kind of a of a development here? Uh, what is, and it's challenged by what could be worse. And the base of this reading is the world. So complete completion, you know, it's finished. This uh, woman is celebrating, like her head's way up in the air, her arms are reaching up to the sky. She's got a beautiful dress on down here. Yeah, and she's saying, yes, it's done. Thank goodness. So that's how a new beginning. And then with the Knight of Winds, so Winds, in this case, is going to be Swords. And the Knight of Swords is really, you know, kind of a nightmare. And uh, maybe that's kind of how we came into this thing. But in the sky, you've got the Ten of Fire. So Fire of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is a big bundle to carry. But I've got to say, in this chess game, now, I don't know how to play chess. So I don't know if this is a representative of a good move or a bad move or an indifferent move. But um, the Ten of Fire has got the strength and um, uh, in his favor. And then the likely outcome of the first part of that, then, is the star. So, yeah, so we go right back to the emotional the value. This is the salt of the earth that comes down to, you know, bathed in all the emotional glory. Yep, so this is a great big yes card. Turn that one back over. Get these right back into the stack. And get a drink of nice soda. And now we're going to... The number three card, signifier being then the six of winds, the six of swords, just a real move from, you know, into something stronger than where it is now, okay? Do a quick shuffle and get five cards out of here to finish that one, okay? This is one, two, three. Four and five. Okay. You stay there. This goes to work over here. And we'll see what the challenge is to that six of winds that kind of moving into or out of uh, trouble out of troubled water. The uh, challenge to that is this stranger fire. So this is the night of uh, plans. You know, this is you know wanting to uh, really get something done. So it just doesn't seem to be enough. Um, there's more uh, that, that wants to be done. And the basis of this, with this five of winds, is this five of swords, and it's feeling a bit like somebody took advantage of something here. Okay, and with the past, uh, the three of winds is just a broken heart. So, you know, this has not been born of an easy decision. And in the sky of this, with this uh, gesture of guards, so guards is pentacles, earth, you know, value. And the gesture is just like the page, who's just bringing his idea, but it's like, it's a, it's a beautiful little piece of value he's got here for your consideration for the court to figure out what to do with. So, the final outcome of that for this uh, card, this yes card, is the four of fire, the four of wands, short term celebrations. This is sometimes called the wedding card. And uh, indeed, this is a, a celebration of some young folks just starting out and uh, certainly, you know, looking forward to better things even more in the future. So, yeah, the big uh, yes card with uh, lots of enthusiasm. And. 
those back into the pack. And go on to the last number four. That's the card you chose. The magician. Just really in charge of everything that's needed to get this job done. There's nothing that this guy can't pull off the table to make this uh, magic happen. So that's challenged by, let's see, five cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, number five. These cards are done. The challenge to that magician just having every trick to pull out of his bag. Is it just me or does it even look like kind of the face of a leopard here? Am I just now seeing that and everyone's seen that all along? Uh, the uh, Stranger of Gardens. So this is the Knight of Gardens. And, um, you know, again, Gardens is pen or Pentacles. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. Value. Challenge. This almost being able to get anything done is challenged by uh, this uh, even... Uh, equal value. Huh. The base of this reading, uh, the King of Fire, so really wands, King of Wands, having, you know, making something happen. This guy is the, I am the king of these plans, and this is what's going to happen. That's how this, what this is based under, with the magician as a signifier. And in the past, we have justice. So there was a, there was some sort of a, a balance that was going on, and it was your turn. Okay, this is your justice. And this guy with this King of Gardens, wow, another king. So now this King of Actions becomes a King of Value, King of Coin. Okay, so, you know, it has the potential to pay off. And then the uh, likely outcome with this three of gardens, three of coins, I always like to say they're, you know, coll collaboratively producing something for public display. And this fella and this model are, you know, producing this beautiful piece of artwork. So another very interesting, uh, from the magician's point of view, uh, great, big, strong yes. So if that was useful to you, those are your cards. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was good. I hope uh, you got some uh, useful information from that. And uh, I, I can't tell you what it means to me to think that maybe something that I'm doing here is useful to you there. So I hope that's the case. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.